what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Matty J, SK all day. What's happening out there, people? Really quick, about the gameplay, as you guys can see, this is a, a face-off gameplay. This is Kill Confirmed. I'm sorry, but I cannot remember what map name this is. Uh, this is actually the second match, I believe, that me and Oz played in the face-off game mode. And, um, really quick, about the class that I'm using, I am using uh, Recon Pro, Assassin Pro, and Dead Silence. And uh, this was uh, prior to the uh, the whole sit rep pro, uh, you know, patch and dead silence patch and all that good stuff. So you can't hear enemy footsteps. Uh, you know, you can't hear the enemy footsteps if you use sit rep pro. That patch just came out. I believe it was uh, a few days ago or something like that. And uh, this was, pr you know, this was before it. So you enemies can't hear us. But um, we actually found that this is actually the best class to use uh, in this face-off game mode. And um, I noticed that um, uh, the last face-off gameplay actually got a lot of positive feedback. I uh, really do appreciate that, you guys. It really does mean a lot. Uh, showing the support for the videos and stuff like that and the different types of videos that I'm bringing you. And um, face-off, uh, I guess some people feel that you know face-off is going to be very high, you know, fast-paced, high-action stuff, but that's just not how 2v2 works especially with the with the maps the size that they are the maps are relatively small I think this is actually the second biggest map that was out uh, there's another map out uh, and I I do apologize I cannot remember all the names to the maps but um this I believe is actually the second biggest map and uh, you guys can already see it. I mean I mean there's not too many places you can go there's not too many places you can spawn you just spawn on this side or you spawn on the other side but um so you always have to keep your head on a swivel in this uh, particular game mode. I see Oz is on the other side, so I know they're going to be spawning over here. So I try to, you know, try to stay in this in this general vicinity over here, so I can, you know, kill these guys and then pick up their tags. But uh, <laughs> these guys, I mean, these guys weren't the best in the game. Um, you know, they were prestiged, of course. They were, you know, elite guys. You know, I guess you know you can call it. But I mean they weren't all that great I mean and like I said I really don't see me and Oz losing too too many uh, games in this in this game mode uh, in the face off game mode and that's just because we understand each other and that's the thing that you wanted that you wanted to have when uh, when choosing your partner you know or choosing your teammate uh, for the face off game modes you want to have somebody that you know that you can rely on you know and somebody who uh, who understands your play style and you know and, and what it is that you do me and Oz have been playing for a long time. I see he almost got spawn killed right there. That dude spawned and, <laughs> and almost got me. But the good old faithful drop shot. But um, yeah, me and Oz have been playing for for a while now, you guys. It's been I mean, me and him have been gaming for a year and something now for a pretty long time. So I know how he plays. He knows how I play. And you know, you see him uh, and people wonder, oh, I see you guys in you know. Uh, why do you guys play all the time together and stuff like that? And it's just it, it's it's a comfort thing. It's good to know that you can have somebody on your team that has the same goals and objectives in mind, you know. And it just makes the game easier to play because when you get stuck with, let's say, you're playing solo and you get stuck with six randoms, you know, you don't know what what kind of play style they use. You don't know what it is that they're going to be doing. You don't know if they're going to be trying to capture flags or kill whore or just sit in the corner and they don't feel like playing. You never know. So it's always good to have somebody that's on your team that you know plays a certain way and that you know that you can rely on. And um, and that's what I have. And you know, and that's why we're actually really excited that they came out with this uh, this game mode. And uh, I mean, it's 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 almost like it was built for us. Now I know you guys, you know, talk about oh well, there's you know game battles and MLG stuff and things like that yeah that's fun and everything but I don't know for some reason it just I played game battles before and game battles for me it just seems very very campy and you see in this one in this particular match sometimes I, I do play a little cautious you know but majority of the time I'm staying on the move you know and that's one thing I mean if you can't be heard you know since you have dead silence on you should you know there shouldn't be any reason to really stay in one particular spot for too long unless you're unless you're anticipating the enemy is aiming down the side at you or something then that'd be a different story but only only in that instance is where you should be you know be sitting in a corner or something like that if somebody's coming back for a revenge kill but you know I hope you guys do enjoy this uh, enjoy these gameplays in the face off game mode let me know in the comment section if you are enjoying uh, the face off series and stuff I'm most likely gonna be doing this uh, for quite a while and 
Um, I haven't actually played Face Off in a, in a little bit, and it's just mainly because I haven't really fully got used to my controller. I know you guys, are, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know that. I don't know how that dude spawned out there, man. I did not know you can go out that far, but now I do, and you learn from your mistakes in this game. But um, yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys are enjoying the series. Um, I enjoy the Face Off game mode. I had a lot of fun with it. You know, once I get used to my controller, fail drop shot, man. Ugh. That's probably the one thing, the only thing that I don't like about the face-off game mode is I think that death streak should be disabled. You know, that's the only thing that I see as a problem. Other than that, I mean, the, the game mode is fun. The maps are fun. If they actually would have took these maps and made them bigger, these maps would have, the maps for face-off probably would have been the best maps in Modern Warfare 3. If they would have just made them a little bit bigger and, uh, you know, and just, and put them in the game, you know, as regular maps. It would have been a lot more fun. But um, where are you going, buddy? I'm trying to chase my homeboy down. But that is the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy. Final score was 24 kills, four deaths, or something like that. And I will be doing a lot more of these gameplays for you guys in the future. So be on the lookout for those. And once again, thank you for all the support. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like rating. If you didn't, go ahead and dislike the video. You know, it's totally your choice. But it's your boy SK. I'm out of here, y'all. Be easy. Peace.